mention that this is a collaborative uh, celebration of local food, art, and culture. I just wanted to um, uh, uh, mention who those uh, partners are. So, uh, I can mention Take Two Jones already. Please stand up, Take Two, again. Uh, Megan Finney and um, Melvin Peoples. Melvin, where are you? Right behind you. Ah.
give these opportunities to our community. So if you guys have ideas, advice on how we can reach out, um, whether it's dance or music or meeting up with community members like this, we would love to hear from you guys throughout the night as well. My white male math teacher stopped class. He began to spew his anger of how taxpayers' monies were being spent on children too stupid to pass standardized tests and rewarding them with free or reduced lunches instead of investing in his salary. If he knew my grandmother and I had to walk over five miles to our local grocery store, would he have seen how privileged he was? My name is Sean Boo. Growing up, I would always remember my parents picking up birthday cakes at the local church. Whenever it was my siblings or my birthday, I would be amazed at how beautiful the cakes were, especially how they tasted. I would always look forward to times like these when we brought food together. It brought the family together. The scene it brought was simply incredible. People laughing, faces smiling, bellies full with droopy eyes, those were the days. Fast forward 15 years later, everyone's lives got busier. We don't cook at home anymore because we're always on the go. We're going through life so fast our food has become fast. Food was something we look forward to. Now it's on our to-do list of chores. Something that we want to get done and over with. There's no more laughing, no more smiling faces, no more full bellies with droopy eyes. No more time together with family. Who knew? Honestly, who knew? When we cared less about food, we would lose time with our family. My father used to tell me that food brings people together. It didn't matter if you were poor or rich. Food was always a time of joy and happiness. It was a language that everyone could understand and speak. When I was young, my father would force everyone to eat. He wouldn't start dinner until everyone was at the table and the conversation began. It didn't matter if we ran out of food or if we had no rice. He was happy that we were together. He was happy. He was happy that the sour bamboo pork soup brought joy to his children's faith. It's been two years since his passing, and I miss him very much. There is no more dinner, food doesn't taste the same, and I ask myself, where is the happiness, where is the joy, and where is my comfort? I used to ask him what's the point of eating together, and he will always tell me. There are 24 hours in a day, and throughout those 24 hours, spending 30 minutes to sit as a family to eat is what he is looking forward to the most. It gave him happiness and joy. It made him smile. Nowadays, I would do anything to see him smile again. Let's eat. 
um, just kind of start creating the small pods of community that you can through eating food and celebrate foods at the table. So thank you so much for, sorry about the long intro, but here comes food. Thank you.